RuneScape is no longer the game that I remember it being. Scammers trimming armor and noobs trafficking women have been replaced by bots advertising gambling websites. That feeling of adventure, now a sense of fleeting nostalgia. What took a younger self weeks to accomplish, I can now complete in days. I don't think I'm alone in that experience either. A revival of this nature aims to recapture an aging audience, one already acquainted with what the game has to offer. Killing minotaurs and flexing at the GE isn't going to be enough to keep these now adults logging in every day when they could be playing something thematically similar with better mechanics. Or, you know, Animal Crossing. By the time RuneScape saw its initial release back in 2004, it was already outdated. Visuals harken back to the previous console generation, and these sounds would come off as hilarious in any other game. At best, the gameplay boiled down to clicking on something for your guy to do and one jerky motion later, the item appearing in your inventory. However, it still dominated the space of browser games because of how accessible it was. Due to its rudimentary graphics and reliance on Java, anyone with a modern computer could play, and they could play with friends. Though in the decades since its decline, death, and eventual resurrection, other games have come to occupy a similar niche, and you don't need a computer to play Fortnite, so I'm left wondering how the game still manages to pull 100,000 players a day. There's something deeper here, an aspect that I'm not quite grasping. So I created an account. Meet Big Gnarly, my free-to-play hardcore Iron Man. After recently becoming enamored with old school RuneScape's enigmatic popularity, I decided to up the ante, to forge my own journey from scratch, all leading up to eventually taking on one of free-to-play's biggest challenges, Dragon Slayer. Upon reacquainting myself with the notably shallow mechanics on Tutorial Island, I was immediately stricken by how little guidance I was given. The game taught me how to cook shrimp and craft bronze daggers, but the only reward for doing so was the ability to cook trout and craft iron daggers. If you pick up a game, any game, the first thing it'll do is give you a goal, a reason to keep playing. RuneScape doesn't do that, and after chopping down some trees for old time's sake, I realized it wasn't going to drag me to the nearest dragon to kill. The only was on me to get there, and in understanding that, I inadvertently discovered this lack of direction is actually RuneScape's greatest strength. As soon as you finish the tutorial, the entire world is open to you. As a level 3 fresh off the boat, you're free to slay demons, craft your own armor, or make some coins selling jewelry you made. And every action made is one taken by a player pursuing their own goals. When I decided to complete Dragon Slayer, I didn't know what it was going to require. I needed a durable suit of armor, a sword to slay the beast, and adequate equipment to keep me alive for the duration of the fight. This meant I was fishing and cooking to prepare a full inventory of highly healing food, mining and crafting valuable items to sell in order to buy equipment, training up combat skills so that I would stand a fighting chance, and not once did the game tell me to do any of this. Rather, they were the logical steps to take in order to accomplish my goal. In its current form, RuneScape is an incredibly player-driven experience where everyone is free to forge their own path, and this shift away from from being a social hub has left a marked change on the way the audience interfaces with the game. Players now covet efficiency above all else. Any area or method that isn't strictly optimal has been entirely abandoned. In this hunt for peak productivity, Runelight was born. See, playing on the official, developer-supported client is a lot like breaking out the old CRT. The features present are pretty much what you'd expect from a 2004 browser game, and it runs off a single CPU core. It's lightweight, but clunky. Runelight is an open source, unofficial, fan-made client built to take advantage of modern hardware, providing more stable performance alongside options like a not-black skybox, increased draw distance, and animation smoothing. Which I'm not saying looks better, but it certainly exists. Loot trackers, item highlights, and clue scroll solutions are now integrated into the client. Half-baked concepts implemented by Jagex have been entirely fleshed out, and information that used to be tucked in menus or hidden online is directly presented to you. Modern RuneScape is a game about setting and reaching goals, whether that be leveling skills, completing quests, chasing valuable drops, or just flexing at the GE. Ultimately, RuneScape is no longer the game I remember it being, and it's taken the form of something that one will play for several months at a time, putting in a couple of minutes every day to chase endless goals through a frankly mind-boggling amount of content. Now, I'm just trying to get my skills to level 50, except runecrafting, my god! <laughs>